now look at a form of coding that is basically lossless coding, compression coding of information, which is basically algebraic erasure coding. This form of coding is based, makes use of the fact that the value of root 2 has an endless decimal expansion, although we are only interested in the binary expansion. When we first introduced to algebra, we learn about irra irrational numbers as numbers th that cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers p by q, where q is not equal to zero. We also come to know that root two is an irrational number, and it belongs to the class of irrationals called algebraic irrationals, since it is the solution of the equation x squared is equal to 2, unlike pi, which is called a transcendental irrational. Now, <coughs> the, our objective is to code a number n less than equal to 2 power l dash. Now, we rewrite 2 power l dash as root 2 power 2 l dash. So, since root 2 has an infinite endless binary expansion, we are interested only in the binary expansion. And since when we multiply by 2, we can always add 1 to it. So we may or may not, we could course, add 1 if necessary. Now, if we simply adopt the convention root 2 subscript A to, the, to mean the binary expansion or representation of root 2, which has exactly A 1s in it, followed by all zeros after that, a ones up to eth one in the binary representation of root two. Similarly, if, if root two plus subscript a plus one to mean the binary expansion or representation of root two, up to a plus one one in it, then given any number n, there will always exist a small integer a such that root two the binary representation of root 2 up to the eighth one in it to the power 2 L dash will be less than or equal to N, which is less than the binary representation of root 2 up to the A plus 1th one in it raised to the power 2 L dash. This will always be true. Now all we have to do is accurately compute the value of root 2 binary representation of root 2. So suppose, assume that we already have computed it to a certain desired small reasonable degree of accuracy. Then we have also have to now determine x for 1 plus 2 plus i. Next bit is less than 2. Expanding it, of course, if we take the square root here, then we will have to assume the value of root 2 itself since we do not know that. Therefore, what we do is we expand it and say x square plus 2x by 2 power i plus 1 by 2 power 2i less than 2. If i is reasonable, if you assume a reasonable value for i, then this will be very, very small. And we can replace this by root 2 itself. Then what will happen is we will get by 2 power i minus 3 by 2 is less than 2 minus x square or 1 by 2 minus x square less than 2 power i minus 3 by 2 or log 1 by 2 minus x square less than i minus by 2 or Along similar lines, we also require for the other bound 
to find the value for a pi for which will be less, we also require x plus 1 by 2 power i minus 1. The whole square will be greater than 2. That is x square plus 2x by 2 power i minus 1 plus 1 by 2 power 2 times Again, if we ignore this, neglect this last term and replace this with root 2, we will get <coughs> x square plus as 1 by 2 power i minus 1 minus 3 by 2 greater than 2. So, we will get One by two power i minus pi by two greater than two minus x square or one by two minus x square greater than two power i minus pi by two. Therefore, the log of one by So this gives us a reasonably one or two bits more. So we can take the ceiling value for this and the flow value for this and maybe add one or two we can check. So these are the bounds for i, for the next value of i. Then we set x to x plus 1 by 2 power i and then again recompute i and do, do so up to a, a values for which that inequality with respect to n is true. The number of iterations required to code n will be very, very small. Even if we assume that half the bits in the binary representation of root 2 is 1, close to half, then up close to, if you take a 2 bytes, that is 2 power 16 values, even that means up to 128 kilobits is the binary representation of that root 2 up to so if you code a very, very large value in just a few iterations, you can code it all perfectly without any loss in the input.